What's up, guys? This is D1B Universe, and I'm sorry about the whole waiting of these uh, reactions, but uh, I remember saying in my death battle reaction with Screech Duck and uh, Shovel Knight uh, that now that I have my job and a lot of other things have been popping up, things are going to be a lot harder for me to make videos for this, and that's mostly because I, I don't have much money anymore, so it's like taking precautions and measures to make sure I'm still here. And also there's a possibility that I might not even be going to college anymore because of the whole fact of this thing that the college is doing where they have to they're, they're, they have to shut down all of our student loans and other stuff that helps us pay for college because animation as a career is not usually as successful as any other career choice that you would want to go into. So our college is about to take, I think it's called federal funding or something like that. It, some, just just to make a long story short, they're just going to take away all the money that it, it it's going to basically force us either we come up with actual money by our own selves to pay for our college tuition and college stuff in general, uh, or, or we just don't have any money to pay for that and pay for college and so we have to either switch majors because the countermeasure that the college gave to us was it, it hasn't gone through yet, there's a possibility it might go through, blah, 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 blah. I can change my, like, my, my you know, uh, major from media arts and animation to game art and design. So instead of becoming an animator, I can pursue my dream of becoming a gamer, uh, a, a game maker or something like that. So thanks to whatever, who whoever thought that would be a good idea, and whoever thought, hey, if you have a dream of becoming an animator, you, you might as well just, you know, stop because it's stupid, you're stupid for thinking that, and you should just leave. Either you go to, you, you forcibly go to another career, or you try to come up with money yourself. We're not going to stop you from going to me arts animation. Just know you won't have any federal help. You won't have student loans. You won't have those, any, you won't have anything that literally gets you into college. So, you can say I'm a little bit peeved about that, and, like, my, my, my attitude toward that it has been, like, really having neg negative connotations to making reactions and also with the new and also a new job I got that just just taking up time too just took a long time I actually had to walk for three hours because I didn't have a way back home after I got to another meeting about it so a lot of things have been happening and I'm sorry about that so uh, just to let you guys know that and just and I just want to say I'm happy to get back into Star vs. Force Evil. The season two it looks like it's ended as far as I'm I'm, I'm aware of, and there's no more episodes. And the season two finale is actually like oh my god and whatever. So I'm tired right now. I'm gonna make sure I'm not, not tired during a reaction. And I just want to let you guys know that because if I don't, then you guys might see like a negative attitude toward me at some intervals, and you, and you won't have an explanation for it. But that's pretty much it. If the same thing's happening to your college, I don't think I don't think they, it, it should be because it only should be happening in in Austin or just the, the Texas area. If you if you go to college in Texas, it's obviously happening. You know, I'm just meaning like you know. Whatever. Let's get started before I make this uh, just all about me. This is about start. All right. Uh, link in the description below for the Google Drive because I tried to hold. I tried to hold. Put it on YouTube thing. Take it out immediately. I'm not dealing with that. So yeah, let's go. Three, two, one. Now. All right. First, uh, first episode impression. I gotta say, having uh, having those two come back after uh, after so long of not seeing them and actually thinking that they're somewhat of a threat. And since they haven't really, it doesn't seem like they resolve their their story there, that there's definitely, there's definitely going to be something more with that, I can see that there is going to be a season three. That, or I'm just getting my hopes up a little bit too high. But either way, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, the whole resolve of Ludo and Toffee, uh, Ludo and Toffee and with Glosseric and everything else, is not going to be resolved in the span of two to maybe three more episodes. So I had, specu I had speculations of that, and I'm like, is there going to be season 3? I'm pretty sure there's going to be season 3. Probably going to be like 5 billion seasons because I like this show so much. But, yeah, okay, cool. That, that just further uh, confirms for, for me. Because I never asked, and I don't believe anyone ever said anything about it. So, th just know that. Uh, having, having that episode just be based around them, definitely just... It, 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 it's fun. It, it, it's both... It, it's weird fun at the same time. Because you got in, it still show, further shows how Marco's parents are like too nice for almost their own good. Like it, they, and again, I don't know if this is supposed to be an indication that there's gonna be more episodes now 
because they just said we should be around more, which is supposed to be like the indication just like, you've been on a whole bunch of adventures, probably, and we weren't really there to help in that regard, unless you're Marco's dad. Uh, because he helped a, a lot in, during the, the, the eating of everyone thing. I, I forgot the name of the guy, Mr. Eats or something. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, it, it was a, it was a, it was a chill like episode. It, was, it wasn't really anything too serious happening until we got to the end where it looks like something's gonna happen. Uh, I, R R Rastacor, it made it seem like he's gonna become bigger than we think he's gonna get. I, that, that's that's the only thing I get from her using those words like that. Just like you can be back to normal or something like that would have would have not ticked me off in that that way. But that that's just that. Now this episode just okay. Jeremy, I just worst character. I hate him. I just like I really hate him. And having him be like really depressed at the end of this really brought my day. Uh, made my day. You could say. And Marco and the relationship between Marco and his teacher is just like again. It's it's, it's great. And, but I can't believe he actually took Marco. That long, uh, and an actual you know explanation as to why he he picked him. And like, if if you are a guy try, uh, living off the royalties or living off the, the the mooching off of the rich person that's in your in, in your class, you have to. It, it's almost as if no, like you actually have to pamper that dude. You could just say you're not getting more money out of this, and your entire career is done. <laughs> and he, and in this scenario, yeah, he had to do that. And he and he did, and it, nothing nothing bad happened besides what happened to Jeremy. And guess what? No one cares. And if you do, man, you really need to try to convince me why Jeremy is your favorite character. That's not the fact that oh, I like the fact that he's a jerk. I want someone to be like, no, he's misunderstood. He's a child with rich family because those things always have like a good explanation as to why he's like that. Look. Just because there's a good explanation of probably why Jeremy is like that, neglect from parents, over ne uh, over uh, pampering of parents, or, or something along the lines. Just because they're acting like that way now doesn't mean I have to enjoy it. So, okay, until his redemption episode, if there ever going to be one, I wouldn't be surprised if there is, but I would be happy if there isn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll see. But that's just it. Me, me and Jeremy are still on bad terms. Dude. First impressions already made me hate the dude. Go back to the first episode if that's on this channel, I forget. But either way, first impressions already bad. Marco, good. And everything else, just episode was alright. These two episodes had nothing to do big plot wise, because, you know, no Ludo, no no Toffee, no Toffee inside Wand controlling Ludo, no Glossaric, no nothing. Just, then. Uh, alright, so it's gonna get quickly start into the other ones, because I wanna get all these done and post them out daily and. I, I want to do this for you guys and also hopefully get to other things because this may be like the only day that I might get to have full control over uh, how many things I can watch. So this is you on me, Universal Seek, until next time.